Okay, let's take a look at some links and buttons. I'm just going to go to a different page. And just go to the home page, I guess, that doesn't have anything on it yet. And here's a sample of a button text. And let's just look over here how we can make some links and add some buttons. So I am going to go up here and I'm just going to drag down a title. And it can be any text. It can be text, image, text, whatever. When you're typing text, um, anything you type, you can highlight either a part of it or all of it and click on this linking tool. And then you paste in a link. So I'm going to go out to another web page and copy this URL. You don't want to sit there and try to hand type this. You'll probably get the slash wrong or something. And I always click open in a new window and then I click save. And so now when I have published this page, if I click on here, it's going to go to this website. It's not doing it right now because I'm in editing mode. So I'd have to publish my website and then go to my URL and see if it works to make sure. Notice that I can also remove it and I can change it right here. So there is a link and it's in the color that underneath design I asked for the colors. I asked to be in green and so my little links go in green. So that's probably the easiest way to create a little link. Um, you can also create a link on a picture so that when people click on a picture it will take them to another site or to another page or something like that. So if you upload, uploaded a picture you can click on this picture and add a link here that way and click save. Notice that you can also link to a page in your Weebly. So if I click here it says which one of my pages do I want to link to. Click to go to my lesson plan page or something like that. I can also link to a file. So I would need to go to upload a file And now when people click on this page, uh, this picture, they will, they will open that file. So there are lots of different ways to link. A button is a fun way to make a link because it looks a little different than most. You can click on this button and choose a different style. Now these styles are set depending on the template that you chose. And you can set it to the right or to the center or to the left. And then you set your link here. And then when people click on the button, um, it will open up either the file. You can link to all these things. A file, if you wanted to open up your resume, like I wrote down. If you want to take them to another website, paste in the website, open in a new link, and save. Um, the other good thing about these links is you can get around the no video and audio in um, the free version of Weebly because I can link to my videos and link to my audio as long as they're less than five megabytes. So I can go to my button, go to my link and say go to a file. And you'll notice that this one was linked to an Animoto. I'm going to go to my videos and find a little video Um, and you'll note that I can see the sizes here. I guess all of these are a little bit too big. And you can see the, the sizes of the video if you are viewing this in detail view. Okay. And find one here. Here's one. And I'll open that up and now when people click on this it will open up the video. I can also link to an audio file just the same way that I link to the video file. I'm going to go to my music or whatever kind of audio file you have and just click on it and open and now when students somebody clicks on here, they'll have the audio file, your narration or your music or whatever it is. 
um, that you wanted. So that's how you link to other files. You click on create a link or if it's on the button you'll click on this to bring up your controls and click on link. Um, on your picture you're going to click on it and go to link as well and um, then when people click on it will be taken to that link whether it's a URL, opens a file, or goes to a page within your Weebly.